Lincoln Chafee is done dropping out of the presidential <gasps> race, which I think is a shame because now we will never know what disastrous bill he would awkwardly sign on his first day in office and then eventually regret when Anderson Cooper calls him on it. But yeah, he's done. Uh, his campaign was almost un it was invisible prior to the debates. The debate performance was terrible, and he's much more in the public eye since the debates, which turned out to be the worst possible thing for him. Uh. And so unfortunately, he is dropping out. We have a couple of his comments. First of all, the announcement. You know, I've been campaigning on a platform of prosperity through peace. But after much thought, I have decided to end my campaign for the president today. Thank you. That was a, that was a huge <laughs> smile. Yes. I'm, I'm dropping out. <laughs> so I like how they had an actual gasp in the audience yeah. as if like there was a big like <gasps> what what is how could Lincoln Chibi yeah. be dropping out when he's climbing from 0.5 to 0.6 percent in the poll they had to grab a woman's wrist she had broken glass to her throat <laughs> don't do it don't do it <laughs> you think he's still here do you think he was tempted to pull out his SNL line like goodbye forever everyone <laughs> <laughs> So that was fun oh. for everybody, and he's yeah. like, "Oh my God, somebody noticed! Hey, I'm so I was in the race. Hey, how poor, you doing? Do, poor Ducey. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's oh well. Poor guy. Uh, yeah. Now that we know when it's when it's Lincoln Chafee, there's going to be some awkward moments. So maybe, maybe I'm being too hard on him, but this is uh, another section from his announcement where it gets a little bit weird. Since today is all about women's leadership, it reminds me of one of my favorite Greek plays, Lysistrata. A comedy from 400 BC by Aristophanes. Now, in that play, a group of women, fed up with the warmongering of their husbands, agree to, and how do I say this appropriately, withhold their favors <laughs> until peace returns. And it worked. They ended the Peloponnesian Wars. Well, anyway. <laughs> well, anyway, that was a well, weird interjection, but yeah. could you please stop having sex with the men in this country? Do you think <laughs> that he was like macking on the women, like dropping some Aristophanes on them, mm, like trying to? Yeah, it seemed to work with the crowd. Yeah, there yeah, was a couple yeah. like, oh, Aristophanes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a huge panty dropper back in yeah. Greece 2,400 years ago. Oh, they throw the togas at you all day long, man. Was I original. get what he's trying to say there, though. But what he, what he is saying is that that that's the power they have, or were allowed to have at that point, was simply by withholding sex, that's how they can influence foreign policy. Wow. Hopefully we've advanced since then. Strangely, Hillary Clinton has already adopted that position and uh, oh. uh, no, no, I'm, <laughs> and, uh, and um, Donald Trump has kind of usurped it also. He said, how about no handies? Let's start with no handies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start small. I'm going to have yeah. the greatest no hand job platform in the world. <laughs> okay, uh, I love that he started the sentence. Uh, as you know, I've been running on a platform of prosperity through peace. Now I got bad news for you, dude. That. Nobody knew that. Nobody. <laughs> I, li I like the idea of it. Yeah, I love Sounds it. Sounds good. I love it. I wish you had a run on that. Um, no, we kid around, but I actually am partly blaming myself here because we, I, you know. I'm partly glad we didn't do interviews with Chafee, Webb, et cetera, so that I could make fun of them and not feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. um, but, but in reality, if, oh, I should have reached. We should have reached out. We should have done interviews with them yeah. because it's it's our fault as part of the media for not knowing that he was running, pro, you know, a campaign called Prosperity Through Peace. And these guys are desperate for media attention, and they can't get it because Donald Trump and others have swallowed up all the attention. Mm -hmm. So I think, especially as alternative media, we had a more of a responsibility here. So I feel bad, you know. I'm putting the kidding aside for a second. Chafee is a good guy, and and I said this during the debates too. I mean, he had some awkward moments. John's going to show you one more, so we'll have more fun, okay? <laughs> but he was the only Republican to vote against the Iraq War, right? That's true. I and mean, that is a principled stand. When there were not a lot of people taking principal stands. I mean, not just on the Republican side, he's the only one on the Republican side. But on the Democratic side, the John Kerry's, the Hillary Clintons yeah. of the world were like, no, 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 let me play ball with George W. Bush. And Chafee was saying, no, not really. And he, he and his campaign uh, was in, in reality about, hey, stop bombing the Middle East. This is a bad idea. Yeah. We've been through this for decades and decades. It doesn't lead to more peace, it leads to more war. So, even as we kid around, props to Lincoln Chafee for what's been a, a very good career, a principled career. And it's just my only question here, if I again, if I'm being serious, is what, what did he think was going to happen? 
right? Like, I don't know why they ran him and Webb ran. They got to the first debate and they were like, oh my God, I'm not leading? Okay, I get, of course you're not leading. So I guess as a, you know, we talked about policy a little bit here, we uh, joked around a little bit, but on the politics, you got nothing to lose. It's not like you're going to raise a lot of money. I yeah. had just gone all the way, you know? So, because it's not like you thought you were going to start with a big surge and had any real chance. If you have a chance at all, it's to hang around and see if you can make something of yourself in future debates and get some attention and maybe get to Iowa. So yeah. that's why I'm a little puzzled by Webb and and uh, and Chafee dropping out the way they did. Chafee, the second Republican to drop out of the Democratic race for uh, <laughs> party, which is nice. And you know, he I agree with you that his stance on things are correct, right? He was against the Iraq War, so I we always like to see that. But it's it's like he he I know he regrets going to the Elmer Fudd School of Public Speaking. I know he does. <laughs> you can't be how did he be any how could you be the dog catcher and speak like that publicly? It's he should be the advisor to the guy who wants to be president. Part of being president is being able to uh, you know stir people up, get people on your side. You got to move men's hearts, right? You use your rhetoric to move people, move polls. So so that's he doesn't have that ability at all. If he would have brought this up during the debate with holding for peace, that actually might have gone somewhere. Mm. You know, yeah. no peace, no peace. Yeah. You know, that's it. So, yeah. That could have been that might have been a better uh, slogan right yeah. there. And it, it certainly would have gotten him a lot more attention. Yeah. And you see through Trump, attention is the name of the game, right? Yeah. So he should have busted out this thing yeah. of instead of trying to appeal to men's hearts, uh, make sure that you stop women from Still using other body parts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then we're and at least what what, what that would have done in all seriousness is get people to go wait. Oh man, this guy really cares about peace. I mean, that's a crazy yeah. idea. Ha ha he he, but like, oh, his platform is peace platform. Yeah. I got it. Okay, well, and would have gotten people to focus. And I think that we're not giving enough credit. Like one of our big issues here is getting money out of politics, and so he took a very principled stand. He didn't raise like ten bucks. <laughs> I think that's impressive <laughs> for a politician. Um, and I, I guess it makes sense to give him credit for voting against the Iraq War. But are we sure that he hadn't just like moved into a new office or something? <laughs> Maybe he didn't mean to. He was distressed that day. He wasn't exactly. paying attention. But again, we're being we're being mean to him. He did seem like a good guy on a lot of the issues. A little bit awkward, but I think in some parts of the country, that awkwardness that you know it's not awkwardness with creepy danger underneath it, it's awkwardness with a good heart underneath it. I could see that working in some parts of the country, especially the Northeast. But um before he leaves though, I think that it's worth going back to showing just briefly perhaps the high point or arguably the low point of his career so that we can have a little bit more fun. You've attacked Secretary Clinton for being too close to Wall Street banks. In 1999, you voted for the very bill that made banks bigger. Uh, the glass seagull was my very first vote. I just arrived. My dad had died in office. I was appointed to the office. It was my are very you saying, first vote. Are you saying you didn't know what you were voting for? I just arrived the Senate. Uh, I think we'd get some takeovers. And that was one. It was my very first vote, and it was 95 925 it was the the record with, with all due respect, let me though, just sir, say what does that say about you that you're casting a vote for something you weren't really sure about I think you're being a little rough I just arrived at the United States Senate I've been mayor of my city my dad had died had been appointed by the governor those are people on, on yeah. your side it breaks your heart it breaks yeah. your heart but yeah. both the, the the story of all the tragedies of the time but also like you, yeah, whenever somebody fails like that, you want to you just want to pat him on the it's back like a little bit. I was expecting him to turn to the crowd and go, "I don't see what's so funny." <laughs> <laughs> and did you, I don't know if you guys noticed other people, but like Bernie was like slunched over, like, "Oh yeah, yeah, right." <laughs> oh, I didn't and, notice. No. And Jim Webb was looking around, like, "Oh yeah, that's true. That reminds me of the time I first showed up in Nam and killed three guys." <laughs> yeah. uh, there was a shot of Martin O'Malley where Martin O'Malley was like towering over him, glowering at him as he was failing and fumbling and fumbling. I felt. Again, I felt bad for him yeah, there. But he was talking about Glass-Steagall. It wasn't like the that's dedication true. of some rest stop on the highway. You know, This was something very important. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and so of course that leads to why he should have given a better answer. Hey, that turned out to be a really important vote. And uh, and I blew it. Uh, I really, really wish that I, I had uh, gotten an opportunity to redo that. Luckily, uh, when I'm president, I will. Yeah. I'll introduce <laughs> yeah. the bill. To bring Glass Steagall back, how's that for making yeah. up? For That's what he should have said. That's right. what he should. And, and this is another failure, not necessarily specifically of us, because we did talk about it, but the media that there were two terrible answers about Glass Steagall, and everybody's <laughs> focusing on Lincoln Chafee, Hillary Clinton. It was brought up, mm. would you bring it back? And she said no. And I, as bad as it is to vote for getting rid of it back in the 90s, it's worse to say after we know the effect of it 
that you're not going to bring it back if you become president, which looks fairly likely to happen. So some of that criticism should have gone from Lincoln Chafee to Hillary Clinton. Yeah, super last thing on it. Uh, it was Bill Clinton who uh, pushed to repeal him in the yeah. first place. And by the way, even Bill Clinton has said he regrets doing that. So it's so weird that Hillary Clinton now, well, mm -hmm. maybe it's not weird. She gets financed by the banks. So yeah, that's true. even at this late juncture, Hillary Clinton saying, no, I wouldn't bring it yeah. back. Yeah, you should definitely gamble with depositor money. That sounds like I a great idea. And that's why I love Trump outs her on this every time. He yeah. says, you know, I don't know what she's talking about, this populist message. All her funders are hedge fund managers. I know all those guys that are yeah. funder. It's hilarious, right? And then she literally said during the debate, when I was a senator in New York, I represented Wall Street. I represented yeah. Wall Street. She didn't even know to not let that slip out of her mouth, you know, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's weird that they didn't go harder on her on the CNN debate when one of her biggest campaign contributors owns CNN. Weird that that works out that way.